Hello and welcome to Vegan Fun Times. I'm your host Luke and today we are going to be finding some deep shrooms and we're also going to be finding some trivalve eggs. Uh, trivalves are the cuttlefish of Subnautica Below Zero and uh, basically they uh, are cool little friends that can follow you around and you can get to do tricks and stuff vegan snacks so we want to head for uh, the pilot's last known l position uh, that beacon because the alien body cache is kind of just past that and the alien body cache is at the bottom of the zone where we'll be getting the deep shrooms and the first uh, two tribal eggs from I'm actually, uh, if you remember where um, the Amiga outpost was, uh, we're basically going below there, um, down the little cracks. So there's the pilot location. We want to follow this lily pad. Big rock, but not the one we're after. Little arrow ray on the left, just there. And the ever present sea monkeys who, once you get Alan, start giving you stuff rather than taking stuff from you. Uh, mm. I think we've gone a little bit too far off course. So let's correct it slightly. This is looking promising. You can see that there's a little box there. And a light. That means that uh, the Amiga station is down there. So we're just ignoring this squid shark. It can't harm us at the minute. You know, you stop our electricity. And look, there's the alien body cache. So the first time we got close to here, Alan was like, oh, there's something of significance. Keep going. But he doesn't repeat that, thankfully. Uh, there's also some oh look lily padders they're pretty cool uh, they make you uh, your vision go all fuzzy and stuff um, now to find the trivalve eggs uh, easier we're actually going to build a little mini base so let's park our little truck here uh, and you'll notice that I've packed some stuff for our scanner room upgrades and some vegetables uh, slash plants to uh, power our um, to power our reactor with. Uh, so we'll whack, we don't need those yet. So only three more spaces there. That one's full. This one we can dump some of this, so we've got space. For a lot of this titanium, and we need the other special ingredients. And we can pop out and start building. So these, uh, these like floating orange blobs that you can just see to the left of the multi-purpose room there, they are what we use to make benzene but we also need um hang on a minute where's my copper ore blast did i i must have forgotten to pack copper ore never mind we can rescue this there are uh some limestone nodes up here if memory serves. Try and avoid that lily powder padder for now. Don't really want to be tripping.
What I'm saying is here or not? Where's the... Uh, where's our copper bay? There's one. Titanium. But we're obviously in the region of them now. There's one. We need Uno more. Finally, right. Now we can go down and build a lovely secondary scanner room. And because we've already got the uh, HUD chip, it will project into our um, screen exactly where they are in the world, helping us to easily find them. Which is also very cool. You can just see our base there. All of these mushrooms on the floor are deep shrooms, so before we leave this area, we're going to be uh, stocking up on those as well. Alright, back to our truck. Once we get inside, we'll build a uh, bioreactor and a couple of plant pots. For our, um, our business, don't need that much. So we can take one of these. We do need those as well. So to cut down trips, just take all of them. And that should be everything that we need for now. Notice that we've got plenty of water and batteries in our sea truck. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. So first things first. Just crank out bioreactor. Again, we're only using this as a very temporary base, so there's no need to. But you could, if you wanted, uh, put a... Um, nuclear reactor. We definitely got the uranite for that, so you could if you wanted. But for now, we're just going to use a bioreactor. You can see there are a number of little side branches. We want creature egg, and uh, just to make sure we capture it all, we'll increase the range of the scanner to its max. So it's even showing us some of the uh, very deep parts of the map there as well. We're looking for an orange dot. It's probably in this this little room here, actually. Um, not quite sure why it hasn't picked it up yet, but it's picking up eggs. On the surface. Let's try it again. Maybe it'll radiate out from the actual point. Regardless, while it's doing that, let's uh, start loading up on some of this lovely cotton anemone. Sorry, I call them deep shrooms. They're not the cotton anemone. Um, Dreams from the first game. Can whack them in there. Takes a, like three, I think, and some salt to make hydrochloric acid. And we're going to take some flowering spores as well. We're going to 
take a healthy amount so that we've got uh, enough in our base if we ever need benzene later. Now to find the, the architect's cache uh, and I guess the, the trivalve eggs, you're looking for the side passages. Uh, the architect's uh, cache, like body part cache, you'll know you're on the right place because there'll be some of those uh, square pillars. Um, ooh, it's breathing in the darkness. That's not very nice. Um, yeah. Ooh, look, some rubies and this is a gold trivalve egg so we'll take that and the second one because that's what we came down here for uh, we've already built our alien uh, containment unit in our volcano base so we'll be able to just drop these suckers in wait for them to hatch and have our little buddies battery mm, we're gonna need our scanner we don't particularly need this right now so let's do that we can probably get to the body cache uh, oh, no get away that's the lily pad trying to draw me into its effect we want to avoid that little trap there that will try and get us um, yeah. so I'm just looking on my map for this architect uh, cache seeing if it's actually yeah So we want to find a way underneath the main section. We'll pick up a battery. We'll do. And some oxygen. We can also uh, just drop off this stuff. Because it'll just drop if we get eaten by anything. And our lovely trivalve eggs. Which are unidentified for now. But we will... Um, To eventually right so looking for the little square pillars now which will show us that we're on the right track to find the cache avoid the trap or not we can just speed our way out of it hope for the best This is probably the way I've just came. Knowing my luck. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Silly me. But, you know, there's some good stuff down here. And it's reasonably pretty, I guess. Just follow this little side passage that skirts the main chamber. It should lead us eventually to where we want to go. Little trollops and a spiky trap. Ah, there's a square pillar even lit up for us. Now down here there are some squid sharks. Um, so be careful is what I would suggest. What we're looking for is another one of those uh, architects like gates with a force field that uh, we need to go into. There's a little squiddy McGee. 
who obviously wants a little taste of me. Not today, Squiddy. Not today. That will be brown best. Just to give Squiddy some extra work. Look, there's the, the first archway. And there's the one with the force field. Oh, she probably starts saying something, but we grab the ornamental plants. Can't harvest them. And this is the architect body component. First one, the skeletal structure. You can't scan the statue. Some of the plants from the first game. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a worm artifact. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? Peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacteria will spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I am. Okay, so that is where we find uh, the tri the first of the trivalve eggs, the golden ones. Uh, it's where we also find um, the ingredients for benzene and hydrochloric acid, uh, as well as a uh, alien body part. So wasn't it worth coming down here? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know. If there's anything you think I could do to improve. And uh, have a good evening, everyone. Goodbye.